Hey guys, it's Dominique and I am here today to show you guys how I flat ironed my natural hair. Mm. Yeah, to me. So this tutorial is very short. I don't even know how I cut it down that much. I cut it from like 30 minutes to like three minutes, but I really included a lot of steps because I wanted you guys to see like the most important parts, which I believe are the washing, the conditioning, the adding of the product. I didn't include myself trimming my hair because I'm not a professional and I can't in good faith advise you guys on how to trim your own hair because truth be told, I don't even know what I'm doing with my own hair. Um, and also, if you don't feel comfortable, don't trim your own hair, please, because it's a setup. I ended up cutting myself really bad recording this video. Um, so I ended up having to stop for like an hour to bandage my hand and it was just really bad guys so bad so that i i just i couldn't even look at the scissors anymore like i cut the whole top part of my finger off and i didn't also didn't include um me feathering my hair with the flat iron i kind of gave it some curls towards the end but my hand was so badly injured at that point that i didn't want to record it because i didn't want y'all to be grossed out from the blood that was running down my hand yeah, so aside from that, I'm sorry I didn't get that part, but everything else I got in and I believe that those are the most important steps. The washing, the conditioning, the blow drying, and the flat ironing. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to try to keep this in for about three weeks. And I know that sounds crazy, but I I'm trying to keep this thing in now. Hmm. Huh. I'm really happy with the results and I hope you guys are happy as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will give you another video separately from this video on the products that I use, the benefits of those products, and why I think you should not do a flat iron without using the same products that I use. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, y'all. So first, I'm going to start off by washing my hair thoroughly two times to make sure it's fully clean. And then I'm going to take my intense moisturizing treatment and I'm going to deep condition my hair. I just make sure I part my hair into sections and comb out that product all the way through to the ends. And then I sit under a cap and let that sit for about 45 minutes and then I rinse that out. I'm using a coconut milk serum, Afogee's green tea reconstructorizer, Motion's foam wrap lotion, and also Tresemme's heat tamer. My hair divided into five sections. I'm just adding each product to every section and I'm just working every product through with my hands before moving on to the next product. Once I add all of the products, I'm just going to go through each section and comb it out thoroughly with a wide tooth comb. From there, I'm just going to twist it down to the ends, pin it, and move to the next section. So once I comb out my hair, I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes, just until my hair is about 80% dry. <music> Lastly, I'll be using Cheese Silk Infusion Treatment. That's really just a heat protectant and it also keeps your hair silky and smooth without weighing it down. Using the comb attachment on my blow dryer, I'm just going to slowly blow dry my hair in small sections, um, making sure that I separate the dry hair from the wet hair. And once I finish blow drying each section, I go over it with the cool shot on the dryer and that just helps to retain the moisture in my hair. Okay, so I flat iron my hair using a titanium flat iron and I set my flat iron to 360 degrees. I'll be using two separate combs, both rat tail combs. One just has smaller spaces in between the teeth than the other. I use my small comb and I just put it up against the base of my hair and I just use the flat iron to follow the comb. That way it gets all the kinks out before I reach the end and it gives me really good results. I do this using very small sections through each big section of my hair. I have a lot of short pieces and breakage in the front of my hair, so I slant the flat iron going downward just to catch all of those. I'm done I'm just going to trim my ends and feather my hair into curls and that's it thanks for watching